Previously on the shiny lock magic card, but I'm gonna fish we're gonna cast our rod I I don't think I've ever seen hoot hoots animation in this game And it just came out with two feet did anyone else see that because I I never realized that that was a thing Roxanne So verse Roxanne is it even Roxanne though? Leader Roxanne and she's got a man psych. Oh my god. Why are these Pokemon so hard for me to beat? It's like they're all good against me. That was a crit. I'm st I'm YOLOing right now. Nature power. I'm still- Dude, no! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was four turns of confusion. I had to YOLO, man. Get that burn. Alright, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, no, 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 <sighs> What does he got? Stunky. I think we're gonna lose. How do I beat Stunky? I don't think I can. I think he's gonna go for a poison move and knock me out. Yes! Come on, Pinocchio! Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss! Let's go, Pinocchio! He lived! Pound and call it a day. Don't miss. There it is, Pinocchio. There it is, baby. First. Oh my god, and he had aftermath! <laughs> oh my god, that was intense, dude. That was so intense. Let's see what we got here. All right. What is it gonna be? The next shiny we're gonna be hunting for is... Oh my goodness! Let's go 55 chain fishing chain 85 encounters shiny throw right in front of us. Let's go man I'm super derived you guys should be as well Show your love on that like button down below for the second shiny on the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer shiny lock. I was so worried guys because I was fishing and it seemed like throw was the most common shiny Pokemon in this area but there was Litleo and and uh, Watch Hog as well, and I was so worried I was gonna get a shiny that wasn't throw, and that would have kind of messed up the whole thing. But we found the shiny throw, and your homie's really hyped. So let's not uh, let's not kill it or run away, and uh, let's go into my own throw here, and uh, hopefully whittle this thing down just ever so slightly so I can catch it, and we should be good to go. I'm loving it, man. Shiny throw looks actually kind of cool. And uh, it's definitely not the uh, the craziest looking shiny, but it does have that orange and it's kind of funny that the two Pokemon we have are both um, are both kind of that orange color to kick things off. But I'm really excited about this and I'm really hyped to find a throw because I've never actually seen shiny throw before. And I just got to whittle it down a little bit here with bind. I know he's using bind himself, but I should be able to whittle him down just ever so slightly here. And uh, we should be, I just want to weaken him just a little bit. I don't want to like... Put them below. I'll probably get him around around half because we were able to catch him last time when he was around half. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. But so the three Pokemon that were in this area, like I said, was Watch Hog, which looked like it was about five percent, and uh, I don't know why I keep missing, but um, Watch Hog, which looked like it was about five percent chance to find, and then uh, Throw looked like it was like sixty five, and then maybe um, Litleo was like thirty five or whatever the math ends up being. I think I'm uh, five percent off there. But either way, <laughs> this thing, this Throw is very uh, inaccurate. Maybe it has some sort of he has like bright powder or something. I don't even know if that's possible, but I think I'm gonna bind one more time and actually hit it this time. We do, and now I'm gonna start throwing poke balls because I really don't want to chance this thing, uh, you know, somehow fainting or whatever. And I'm just hyped to find this thing so quickly. The chain fishing worked out really well. Uh, I got a little frustrated with the chain fishing. I did about 30 encounters to start, and I realized that uh, I was having a really hard time keeping the chain going. So I remembered, luckily, uh, that we found those Grimers in the Whismers cave earlier, and I actually went back and I went and caught a Grimer. I actually had to catch four Grimers, but one of them had Sticky Hold, which allowed me to have a better chance with the chain fishing stuff. So it ended up working out really, really well that we were able to find that Grimer and use it as a utility Pokemon to help me catch a chain fishing Pokemon. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, I said in the, like the first episode I'd be using utility Pokemon if I needed them, and it, it just so happened that uh, we were able to do that and, and kind of make it work here. So I think the bite is going to knock him down one more, so the bite is up, so uh, I'm probably not going to attack him again. I think I'm just going to throw Great Balls here and just kind of test our luck. I have quite a few Great Balls. I basically spent all my money on Pokeballs, and I bought a few potions here just to make sure we don't have any issues, and it looks like we're good. 
No, he breaks out. Come on. Come on, man. Uh, I think throws are always males, if I'm not mistaken. So I've already got the nickname picked out for this. I did tweet out to get some opinions. And I think sock and throw are actually based on uh, the puppets Bert and Ernie. I could be wrong. But uh, the nickname I'm going to pick for this guy, if we're able to actually secure this capture here, is going to be Ernie. So we are going to nickname this thing Ernie, which I think is kind of cool. And if you don't know what Ernie looks like, uh, he's he's like kind of the same color as Shiny Throw, actually. So it works out pretty good. But uh, that was really, really nice. And I've got a special treat for you guys in terms of what we do for the third Shiny. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to see. We're going to jump into the episode here momentarily after we check out what Ernie's rocking with. And I think I spelled it right. We got Ernie here. So we got uh, Pinocchio and Ernie, two orange Shinies on the team. I definitely want to go check this thing out and see what it's working with before we jump into the episode. And I'm glad that that wasn't too brutal. 55 uh, Chainfish, no Shiny Charm, obviously. And um, 85 encounters total. But like I said, the chain itself was 55. I started, uh, I got the Grimer and then when I was at 30, so I kind of just continued from there. But let's see here, I gotta drop off a lot of this stuff. See, here's all the Grimers I caught, I wasn't kidding. Um, and this is our Sticky Hold Grimer, which helped us get that. We'll drop that off, and that's our shiny one, so we'll drop this off. So all this stuff is just utility stuff. I can actually probably release the Grimers that are stench, because those don't, uh, we'll keep the Sticky Hold ones, but... The stench ones aren't gonna help us, but uh, there it is. Naughty nature, inner focus, uh, no item, and we already knew its move set was gonna be uh, naughty nature's plus attack minus spdf. Uh, so it looks like we have two positive attacking natures. Inner focus, kind of nice, and a nice little shiny throw there. Ernie, uh, bind, leer, bide, focus, energy. So it might be in our best interest to invest in some TMs to kind of help this thing along here. Uh, I definitely need to save the game, but I do want to uh, do something I never do here. This is going to be a little funky, but let's go to Pokemon and me really quick. And let's uh, skip the tutorial because I don't care about that. I just want to see what throw looks like in Pokemon and me. Enjoy the shiny that we have, man. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited about this throw. Um, I've never had shiny throw before, so let's see what he looks like in Pokemon and me. I think he's only going to show up in the bottom screen, so it might be a little small. Turn around, buddy. Hey, turn around. Turn around, throw. Look at him. He's so happy. He's like hungry and stuff. Look at him. He looks awesome. I'm digging it, man. What's up, buddy? Let's... He doesn't... I don't think he's the type who wants to get like a head scratch. But, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Alright, man. Well, there you go, guys. Two shinies on the playthrough. We got shiny throw and a uh, nice little Ernie and Pinocchio here. And we're gonna wrap things up. And I'm gonna jump into the episode right now. And that'll be that. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Asia, bring you episode 4 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. As you just saw, we got our second shiny of the Let's Play, Shiny Ernie. Nice little throw here, which I am going to teach Rock Tomb to because I just realized that I learned Rock Tomb. So I was doing a little scouting pre-episode here. But I need you guys to show your love on that like button down below for the fact that there's a number of different things. First of all, we just got a shiny throw. So that is pretty darn awesome. 55 chain, 85 encounters. Not bad. Also, we have the bonus episodes on Fridays if we hit our like goal. You guys have blown the like goal away, hitting like 3,000 plus in the first two episodes, almost 2,000 in the second episode, which was uploaded on Christmas. So I was pretty hyped about that. And now we are going to get that bonus episode on Friday if you guys turn off for 1,500 likes on this episode and Thursday's episode. I think that's totally reasonable. You guys have blown away 1500 likes already you guys could do it again really cool question of the day today too would you want a new type of shiny pokemon i'm gonna have to explain a little bit here but let me know take a moment to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh whether you're feeling it whether you're liking this idea or not so uh, we talked a little bit about lowering the shiny chance in the last episode which they did obviously and now i'm kind of curious what your thoughts are if they introduce a new type of shiny pokemon that is astronomically <laughs> astronomically rare so you end up with something that's like uh, like a one in like 10,000 chance and it's like a shadowless Pokemon or a, an albino Pokemon or a, you know a Whatever rainbow po whatever you want to call it something like that uh, Let me know what your best idea is and uh, in the comment section below and we'll we'll try to see try to see if we have any cool ideas I'll definitely read the comments as I always do guys. I do read the comments So uh, if you do take that few moments to uh, to type it all out It'll be worth your time because I'm gonna read it. And it's gonna be awesome. So uh, let's uh, let's get Ernie some action here right off the bat. We might have to do a little bit of switch training at least initially because he is kind of a low level, and uh, we'll see kind of what happens. I'm excited though to have two shinies, and I've got a really cool spin that I'm gonna add for the next shiny, guys. So I think you guys are gonna dig it as we run into an Esper, which I am gonna have to switch out on. But we're gonna have to do a little bit of switch uh, switcheroo training here. Like I said for this, look at this beautiful Ernie here. Look at him looking awesome with that delayed. The laid glistening. That thing looks sick, dude. Uh, we got the two orange shinies, man. I don't know. I don't know why we have two orange shinies, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not uh, not gonna complain about it. 
but I have a really cool idea and I definitely want your thoughts on this as well. So this isn't really the question of the day, but I would really appreciate if you guys gave me your thoughts on this idea. Someone suggested this in the comments and I apologize because I, I don't quite uh, know exactly the account who said it, but I thought it was a cool idea. So what I think I'm going to do for the next shiny, you guys can let me know is uh, I was going to, right after Slateport City, there's a patch of grass before the bike path, and there's a number of different Pokemon there. I don't know what they are, because it's randomized, but I was thinking about uh, kind of testing our luck a little bit. I was going to encounter a few of those Pokemon, let's say four, maybe five Pokemon, and we're gonna see what they are, and then I'm going to post a straw poll link in the description. Now, this will probably be on the next episode, not this episode, but I'll post a link in the description of that video, and you guys can vote which Shiny that I hunt for. I don't know how you feel about that, but uh, since we are doing the Nuzlocke part of it, it's been, you know, fate has been determined by the game itself, but I thought it'd be really cool for the third Shiny that you guys determine which one you like the most out of a few different options. That'll give you guys a little bit more interconnectivity to this playthrough, which I think could be kind of cool. I'm not going to do that for every one of the eight Shinies, but I thought it'd be cool to do it maybe for two of them, if you guys are feeling the idea. But of course, let me know what your thoughts are. If you want me to do that on the next episode, let me know, because I think it's probably going to be next episode when we find out what our next Shiny Hunt is going to be, or at least find out what the Pokemon are. I'm going to do my best to kind of kind of get there as soon as possible. This episode should be pretty epic, though, because I should be able to get to Brawly on this episode and hopefully come out with a W. Now, it could be very, very hectic because... One, uh, Brawly's highest Pokemon I think is 18, and while Throw is a great Pokemon and Nuzleaf is a great Pokemon, uh, it's going to be tough, guys. It's definitely going to be tough. I don't anticipate this Tyroak having a fighting type move. I do want to just continue to do a little bit of switch training here and kind of get Pinocchio still a few more levels, get Ernie uh, up to par. The nice thing about Ernie is his base stat total is through the roof, man. He's got uh, an impressive, I think, 125 HP, base 85 defenses across the board. Uh, good attack stat as well. So for a Pokemon that doesn't evolve, I think he's going to be just fine on our team. I think he's going to do a really, really stand-up job, Ernie. I really feel like you're working it. But I do notice that we have a pretty gaping hole on our team to flying types, if you can't tell. We have two big flying weaknesses now, so... Uh, gonna have to be very very cautious and we actually have a fairy weakness as well and I know 100% sure that this thing does indeed get fairy wind and I'm trying to think of my best way to take it out because it's gonna destroy me otherwise I'm gonna go for the pound here hope he doesn't go for the fairy wind which is gonna do a good amount that that's about lucky chance okay so I think I'm, I might be able to get through this okay but if he does have fairy wind that's probably gonna do a lot uh, it'll <laughs> not it's not gonna kill us, but it's gonna do a lot I should be able to knock this thing out without having to worry. Yeah, he's just gonna lucky chance twice So we get kind of lucky with this flabebe. bay that would have been kind of scary, but I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and uh, Holidays so far. I'm recording this on on the 28th. So we just passed our Christmas stuff and My Christmas was good man. A lot of people were asking me how it was it was okay Like I spent some time with my family and stuff we did we did the normal normal family hangout stuff we normally do. Nothing too crazy. My family actually went to Europe. Um, like, we had breakfast in the morning, and then they all left to go to Europe. So, me and my fiancé are, are left behind with our puppy. We uh, we didn't go with the rest of the family. But that was that was kind of our decision. You know, uh, it's with the wedding coming up in, in, you know, eight months or whatever. Or seven months, really. It didn't really make sense to go out and spend all that money on, on a trip. You know, those those trips are... Oh, my God, this thing has Shockwave. I don't think this will kill, but that's going to... Oh, it didn't do too much. Ernie's kind of a beast. Um, but those kind of trips are really expensive, man. You're going to go all the way to Europe. Like, you're going to spend uh, a lot of money to do that. The plane and the hotel and all sorts of stuff, man. It's just for... And they, I think they're going for, like, 10 days, my family is. So, uh, you know, my two stepbrothers, my, my, my stepmom and my dad... And I think my stepbrother, yeah, my stepbrother's girlfriend went too. So they have a pretty big crew of people kind of going there. They're going to be in, uh, in like England and they're going to go to Ireland and Scotland and stuff. And hey, that's cool. Let them do their thing. But uh, I just couldn't justify spending that kind of money um, for me and my fiance. And it just, it just would have been too much. So I'm actually glad I stayed home because it's nice to relax and kind of recoup after, after the holidays. And we have New Year's coming up soon too, um, which is really going to be kind of cool. One of my buddies, actually, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but it, it all goes well. I know he just actually, shout out to my man Hydros, he just actually had uh, his appendix taken out, I think, last night. Um, I guess he had appendicitis. That's pretty nuts um, to, to go through that. I, the appendix is a weird, weird organ, man. Sometimes I've heard of people where just like, if you get to it ahead of time, it's not too bad of a surgery, but if it bursts, no thank you. So always be aware of your body, man. If you get some crazy, you know, pains in your stomach or whatever definitely keep that in mind oh i can't even go through this cave yet i have to 
take on um, the gym leader first. That's a little scary. Not sure I'm ready for this gym leader, but we're going to do our best anyway. So I think he's actually going to be coming all the way up from North Carolina to Connecticut to hang out. And that's actually, I'm spending my New Year's with him and a couple other people, my fiance and, and, uh, and Sarah. So it should be a good time. I'm really excited for it. And I think we're going to have a good time for New Year's. And, and we'll try to keep our streams as, as, uh, as high as possible. And we'll keep doing our streams. And we'll keep get the, get the grind going here. But we'll see what Swimmer's Laura has. She's got a Fletchling. So this is exactly what I was talking about. About the flying types being a little bit scary. I don't think this thing is going to have anything outside of Peck at this level anyway. It's probably like level 14 or something. Uh, 13. I don't think it's going to have anything outside of Peck. So I'm pretty safe to just rock to him. It's going to growl. I should be able to knock him out. Uh, this is pretty scary though. I know we talked a lot about the three lives and you know whatever else but I, I really feel like we're going to need those three lives man. Um, especially with only two Pokemon here. Let's see how much this Peck does. Ah, I can live it. Ernie's very bulky luckily for us. Um, and this rock tomb is, is really clutch because it actually has given these, us these speed drops and allows us to outspeed our opponents after like one or two. Even though throw's not too fast it, it gives us the opportunity to outspeed. Which is big, because otherwise we're in trouble. I need to get this thing like level 15, 16, something like that before I even try to take on this gym. Um, hopefully we'll get some experience here. Maybe I'll run into some uh, some Chanseys. Give me a Chansey. That's what I want to face. Let me face a Chansey right now. Um, I'm not a big soda guy, but I am drinking some Sprite. It's going to look weird because of the, uh, the green screen. But I've got some Sprite today. We're treating ourselves before the end of the year. So this is a little scary here. So this is where things get hairy, because... This thing could um, have arena trap, and then I can't even switch out. Um, I think I'm going to try to switch out into Pinocchio. I can't. So we're stuck here, man. If we can't beat this thing, we are in a lot of trouble. I'm going to go for the focus energy. I don't know what this thing knows at this level. It might just be like bite. Bulldoze. He knows bulldoze. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, this is not good. This is not good guys. Okay, we're gonna use a Super Potion here and I can not switch out against the Trap Inch and I am a lot slower than him and he's got Bulldoze which is a 2 KO. I think. Uh, it's not 2 KO, it's 18, but still pretty bad. I need to go for Bind. That's what I need to do. Sand Tomb, he missed. I missed the Bind. That's annoying. Come on, hit this Bind. He's got Mud Slap. That's gonna make me miss even more. I don't foresee myself. This is gonna be a tough Pokemon to beat. Oh boy, I need to hit this bind like ASAP, please. He's got bide, which is going to boost him. I can't hit an attack, man. Um, the only thing I can do here is I have to bind and then heal up, not miss, and then I have to go for bide is what I need to do. This is our plan here. So that's going to hurt him. He's going to unleash his energy here soon. That's going to hurt him for a number of turns. If I can get through this without, without anything happening, that could be huge. Alright, we're gonna use a regular potion. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna make a chance take a chance here. Cause I don't think I'm beating him otherwise. I think I'm gonna go for Bide, which is gonna give me two turns of him attacking me. It's gonna unleash his energy. I should be able to eat that. I do. And I, I think I don't think I'm living two. Two bulldoze, man. That did it did 18 last time or something. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna bide. We're gonna bide and see what happens here. I need him to go for two moves that aren't gonna kill me. Sand tomb? I don't know, man. That does a lot. If he if he bulldozes, I think we're gonna lose throw, which is not good. I don't want to lose lose throw right already. But there was nothing I can do. If he bulldozes, I think he kills me because of the uh, the sand. He's gonna mud slap. If if I don't miss this, which there's a high chance I miss. If I don't miss this, we might actually be okay. We might be able to to knock him down to to the red here and actually put him in a situation where we can beat him. But I need to hit this move. I need to hit this. And it actually, I, guess, I think it has to knock him out. Because I can't heal up. I hit it. Is this going to do enough to knock him out? Throw! You, Ernie! Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. You are a legend, Ernie. You are already making your way on this playthrough, buddy. Dude, get some hype right now for Ernie coming through. Jeez. Never did I ever expect the move Bide to work like that. Whew. I thought we were done there. I thought we were going to lose a heart. I thought we were about to lose a heart right there. Unfortunately, that limits my potion supply, which I'm already kind of thin on. But the fact that we were able to just make it through that trap inch without losing a heart, that was huge, guys. That was pretty huge. I thought we were about to lose a heart. 
That trap inch, dude. How am I gonna deal with arena trap, trap inch, level 13, higher level than me? And that move pool was insane. Trap inch has a base 90 attack stat, I believe. It might even be base 100 and match flygon. I'm not sure. It could be. It could be base 100, um, but I'm pretty. It's pretty high, regardless. It's either 90 or 100. That thing is insane. And it had arena trap. And it had bulldoze, mud slap, sand tomb. Like, I am very lucky that we got through that matchup. I am very, very lucky. Uh, here's Team Aqua Tessa. She's got a Chikorita. Okay, I could beat a Chikorita, I think. I think. Maybe. Um, what do I want to do against Chikorita here? Maybe just switch to Pinocchio. Just get the experience, the switch training. I think that's what it, it was probably my best interest to do. It's probably my best interest. Alright, Pinocchio. You could take this thing on. Go for Leech Seed or something. Razor Leaf. Poison Powder. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna fake out and then I'm, I'm gonna probably Nature Power because I think it's Tri Attack. What I could do in this gym, guys, and one of the things I'm probably going to try to do is if I, against the gym leader, he's got two Pokemon. If I have an opportunity to go for growth against one of them and set up, we're going to have to take that take that opportunity. We're definitely going to have to take that opportunity. Um, I should probably growth up on the Chikorita just in case, but we'll just knock it out for now. But I really should try to take, because if he has a Flying-type Pokemon, I don't think I could beat him. I'll have to do some serious grinding. Here's a Glameow. I could probably beat Glameow, though. This thing is usually... Unless he's got a U-turn, but I don't think it learns U-turn at that level. I think it's a TM only. I remember, I don't know if you guys ever played Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, but there's a situation in that game where after, I think it's after the first gym, it's not even like that far into the game. I think it's, is it one gym or two gyms in? It's before you face uh, Gardenia, or whatever her name is, the grass leader. You face in um, in the little Wind Valley Power Works or whatever, you face the admin. And she's got a Pur Ugly or a Skun Tank, I think, depending on the game you play. Dude. That Pur Ugly is a beast. Alright, I'm going to heal. We're going to heal up one more time here. And then we're taking on the gym. Even though I'm a little bit underleveled, I feel like we just got to do it. The homie Ernie needs to come through. I think her, the highest level gym Pokemon is like 18, dude. Should I grind? Oh, man, this is where Experience Share would come in handy. What level are my Pokemon at? The problem is, is he just, my homie, my homie, uh, Ernie here, my homie Ernie here, level 12, what level is he, he's level 12, what, how, how close is he, he's 282 experience away, I'm thinking about going and just doing a little bit of training, just a little bit, just to get him to 13, just to get him to 13, is that what I should do, yeah, let me cut the video guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of training here, and I'll be right back, alright guys, we have returned, Chilling here. I got Ernie up two levels, actually. Two levels. In the cave, there was some cool Pokemon. There was, like, Cricket Tune and stuff. So I got him with two levels, threw an Orin Berry on him, and I gave him Seismic Toss to level 13. And, uh, didn't get any levels on Pinocchio. So, it was, it was honestly seven minutes of me battling. I just wanted to get a couple extra levels on there. Just for a little added security. Um... I mean, if we run into something we can't beat, we're going to run into something we can't beat anyway. But, I figured, uh, those extra two levels might help. Because Brawly is going to be, uh above my levels he's gonna definitely be above me so should be able to take on brawly here let's do it man it is time for our second gym brawly's chilling we're gonna lead with uh, ernie we've got the silk scarf on pinocchio so we do have that nice little fake out off the bat and we're gonna take on brawly here we'll see how this goes man oh boy please no flying types or fairy types that would be great that would be great brawly I'm Brawly, Doofoot's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as the equipment in this gym. So you want to challenge me? You want to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Uh, let's do this, Brawly. Let's go, baby. Second gym, we're able to beat Roxanne and her tough Pokemon. She had a Stunky and a Mantyke. What will Brawly lead off with? It is probably not going to be a chop. He's got a Tortuga. Okay. He's got a Tortuga, um, so I think that's okay. Luckily, unfortunately, my Fighting Sight move, Seismic Toss, is not going to benefit from the fact that he's weak to fighting, but I can Seismic Toss him. He's level 14, so we're on even playing field here. I think I'm just going to go for the Seismic Toss, see if it's a 3-8 KO to start, because if it is, I think I can easily beat this Tortuga. I don't believe he's going to be able to... It's a 4-8 KO. He's going to Water Gun us. I think we're okay here to just... Okay, yeah, so the thing is, Ernie has such natural bulk, he's going to be able to eat this up, even with the negative defense nature. I should be able to take this. There's no point in rock teaming. Uh, that is a 3 KO, it looks like, actually. Looks like it, it just kind of tipped tipped over the scale there. It was close, but should be able to knock him out. If he wants the potion, that's fine. He's going to go for the Protect. Bold strategy, Cotton. We're going to see how that one pays off. I actually just watched Dodgeball uh, a couple nights ago. Love that movie. If you've never seen it, I don't know what kind of crustle you're sleeping under. 
but you're gonna go into oh it isn't a 4k I stand corrected once again well Ernie it's this is your time to shine Ernie he's gonna go for the potion isn't he no he's, he's gonna go for a super potion that's okay though Ernie I have faith in you my friend that you can seismic toss our way to victory here show him what the world is made of so it's a four hit K on this seismic toss kind of annoying uh, not much not much I could do about it it's gonna be a four hit KO so at least he used his super potion man that's that's close that's annoying he's one HP over the four hit KO mark so I'm I can't remember whether seismic toss uses my level or their level but either way, uh, that means he's he's got just, it's, it's the same level, so it doesn't matter in this case. But uh, one HP Tortuga, look at this guy. I hope is this gonna activate my berry? It does. So that's gonna activate the berry. That's gonna boost us up 10 HP, which could come in handy. And now I have to take on. I gotta beat this thing. We're gonna find out what is he's gonna go for. Protect again, Tortuga. Stop it. Stop it. No one likes you like this, Tortuga. No one wants you to be that guy. All right. Good job, Ernie. Ernie holding it down, getting rid of the first Pokemon. Now the next Pokemon, I feel like is like level 17, 18, guys. I'm not positive, but I feel like it's uh, it's gonna be pretty fierce. And it is a Litwick. Bit scary. Litwick's actually a bit scary. Luckily for us, I do have the Rock Tomb, so I can slow this thing down level 16. I should be able to. I'm actually faster anyway. That's a two a KO. We're gonna get the speed drop, and that makes me feel really good. He's gonna go for the Confuse right here. I am debating switching out, but the problem is Nuzleaf actually cannot touch this thing. Because I believe I'm going to end up with Try Attack as the move. So I have to go for Rock Tomb here and hopefully hit him. Oh boy, Ernie. Ernie. Come on, buddy. Fire Spin. He's going to hit it. Uh, a little bit. Oh my goodness. That's not good, guys. This is not good. I can Potion up here. And we can get Ernie to Fighting Fit. But that doesn't guarantee anything here. Because Pinocchio automatically is going to die. If I have to face Pinocchio versus Litwick, because I have nothing to hit it. He's going to fire spin. I need to break through this confusion, man. That's what it comes down to. Ernie, I need you, buddy. Come on, buddy. Break through this confusion, Ernie. Don't get confused, Ernie. Yes, Ernie. Hit the rock tomb. Ba bam That's what I'm talking about. Ernie, you legend, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for pulling through for me, Ernie. Didn't even need that potion, but it was worth, worth, worth the chance. Worth the chance. We didn't lose a heart. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. I think he gives us bulk up, doesn't he? That could be really good. We might have to. T we need a fighting move on Ernie. That's not size we toss, and this thing is gonna be a beast. The knuckle badge makes us all Pokemon up to level 30. Even those you get in trades obey without question. You know what? I think you made use of this. I'm sure this will help your Pokemon bulk up a little bit. TMO8 bulk up. That is perfect for my homie Ernie. I like it. Bulk up temporary enhances the Pokemon's muscle power. The move boosts both attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the day when I can surf your giant wave. By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located on the north side of the town. It's full of fascinating stuff like rare stones and paintings. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it. Get out of here. Get out of here, Joey Bag of Donuts. Out of here. All right, so... That's not bad, guys. We take on the second gym leader, Brawly. We're able to slyly get our way through it. It was uh, a little closer than I wanted. That Trap Inch almost cost us a heart, and uh, that Litwick almost cost us another heart. But luckily for us, we've managed to make it through two gyms in uh, fighting fit shape. And again, the next Shiny I'll be going for will um, probably be on the next episode. I got uh, a couple things we got to do. Before then, and I'll, I'll probably have you guys vote, but I'll read the comments and see what you guys think. If you want me to stick with the, the Nuzlocke, or if you want to have a chance to vote. But you can see some of the shadows. We found Eevee in here. We found Krikatoon, Love Disc, Blitzel, uh, Turtwig. So lots of cool Pokemon in here. Uh, none of which I'm going to go for, obviously, right now. But still pretty sweet, nevertheless. And Ernie is slowly becoming one of my... One of my favorites. I know we only have two Pokemon, but you know I'm digging Ernie. He's doing good, and he's got he's got some serious bulk to him. He's got a pretty good attack stat, and hopefully that naughty nature won't hurt us in the future. But we've got some uh, some paintings to look at here, Mr. Stone. Ah, we are playing Alpha Sapphire, and I think Kyogre will probably not be randomized. I don't think it's going to be randomized, but there is Kyogre's painting on the wall. The paintings on the wall tell everything. This is a very emotional situation here, but uh, we'll talk through it probably anyway. <laughs> Steven, talk to me, baby. What are you feeling? He's, he's, he's very pensive right now. He's like, what's going on? 
What are those? Hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm. You are? Dot dot dot. Ah, I see, it's a pleasure, A-Drive. My apologies, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today my journey brought me here, but what about you? Oh, a letter for me? Ah, why thank you! It must have been some trouble to track me down, I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. Please accept it, it contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Ah, well maybe Steven's got a uh, Steel-type Pokemon like a Skarmory. That's going to be randomized, so it'll probably not be a Skarmory, but... If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost in thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have in, in you what it takes to become the Pokemon League Champion. As long as you keep training, that is. You've got two really rare shiny Pokemon. Good luck to you now. I must get going. So Steven is going to leave us in this room at the painting, but that is going to conclude what we need to do right here. Now our mission is actually going to take us all the way to Sladeport City with Mr. Briny, who will hopefully be so courteous as to allow us to hop on his boat once more. And we can hop our way all the way to Mr. Briny's cottage, or uh, Sladeport City, really. And we're going to gear ourselves up for our next shiny capture, which will be before the third gym, of course, Mr. Watson. So we're, uh, we're making a lot of progress. It's funny, the second and third badge are so close in this game. But So uh, I had a message from President Stone saying he's another favor to ask you. It's about the Devon parts that you recovered for him. Seems as though they should go to a fellow called Stern in Slateport. This old sea dog will follow you there safely. Way anchors were for Slateport. All right, off to Route 109, Slateport City. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Pico. Mm -hmm. Lost and gone forever. I don't know the words of this song. Alright. Here we are. Ahoy! We've made land in Slayport. I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stern and deliver those Devon parts. So, here we are on the beach now. I'm going to skillfully dodge these trainers, and we are going to come back and face these trainers later. Um, I do want to face these trainers, so have no fear. We will come back and face them, but I think it's time for us to actually get that next Pokemon. And you know what? We have it. We have time. Let's do it right now. I didn't think we were gonna make it happen on this episode, but let's do it. We have we have a few seconds here. Unless something comes up, I think we can make it happen. I'm going to encounter the Pokemon in the wild, and you guys are gonna vote. What our next shiny is going to be, and I, I'm actually going to try to catch the shiny now, as opposed to on the next episode, because that'll allow us um, an opportunity to use it against the trainers in Slateport. It'll allow us to get through the entire Slateport city with that extra Pokemon, which will allow us to kind of have more level balance and stuff. So here we are. This is the patch of grass I'm going to be shining at again. So I'm going to encounter four different Pokemon here, and you guys are going to vote in the straw poll below. The first Pokemon is a Gibble. So that would have been the Pokemon I searched for. Keep in mind, Garchomp's shiny form is absolutely ugly. But uh, I'll let you guys... I'm not going to... I shouldn't influence your decisions, right? I shouldn't. But Gibble is going to be the first Pokemon. We'll see what else we encounter here. Gibble is number one. Pokemon number two. And again, guys, there's going to be a straw poll link in the description. So feel free to vote down there. There's there's another Gibble. So that, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, two Gibbles. That's fine. We're not going to count those. But you guys will vote. I'll do four Pokemon. The first four I encounter. And then you guys get to vote. And... and that's if you want. If not, I'll stick with the Gibble. I'll have to read the comments and stuff to see if you guys want that. But I'd imagine you're pretty cool with having a little bit of uh, a little bit of fan voting here in this episode. I think that'll be cool. And it, it's all I'm finding are Gibbles. That's that's awkward. Um, Gibble, I'm just trying to be honest with you here, buddy. You should probably hide for a little bit while I try to find something that's not a Gibble. A non-Gibble Pokemon. Where are the non-Gibbles at? Where are my non-Gibbles at? What is this? I just found three Gibbles in a row. Snow Runt, ooh, which could be a number of different things. That could be a Mega Glalie, it could be a Frostlass. I think Frostlass is gender dependent, but Glalie is not. Uh, he's gonna Ice Shard me, get, what are you doing, dude? I'm gonna be able to run away from you, come on. Come on, get out of here. So Snow Runt is option number two. Let's see what else we could find here in this patch of grass. 
And hopefully you guys are down for the voting thing. If you're really opposed to it, then we'll just do Gibble. But I figured you guys could vote. It'll be fun. Maybe you'll vote for Gibble anyway. But uh, the only thing I caution is just remember what it looks like as a shiny. Because um, Gibble shiny or Gibble shiny is cool. Gabite shiny is cool. Garchomp, not so much unless it's Mega. But to each their own, right? That's your opinion. That's gonna be your decision. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be influencing you. What is this? This is a Staravia. So Staravia, which is actually really scary because if I can't run from him, he could probably do some serious damage to me right now. It's level 11, so I should be able to get away. I don't know. Maybe. Please don't use wing attack. I couldn't get away. Went for growl. Uh, please allow me to get away right now because I really don't want to lose Ernie. Okay, we got away. I'm actually gonna put uh, Nuzleaf in the front of the party now because I don't want that to happen again. At least next time I can fake out and then hit him with something else, try attack or something. I think it would actually be energy ball, but... Alright, what is the fourth Pokemon? I'll do four. I'll let you guys vote between four. It is another Gibble. Anticlimactic. Gibble, we've seen you. Please, stop showing your face. Gibble's definitely the most common here. So, Staravia, Snowrunt, and Gibble are the first three options. And the next option is gonna be... What shall you be? What will you be? Ooh, a Floet. So those are your options, ladies and gentlemen. Floet, Gibble, Snowrunt, and Staravia. Four interesting, interesting shinies. And um, I think, I think I'm gonna put the power in your hands, guys. We're gonna end the episode right here, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Please share your love on that like button down below. Don't forget, 1,500 likes on Tuesdays and Thursdays episodes will get you guys a bonus episode on the Fridays. So I think that's cool. We do need to do a lot in Slateport, but I figure we'll get that next shiny before the next episode if all goes well, and we should be good to go. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll school by A-Drive on the first ever Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. Show your love on that like button down below. Don't forget our question of the day, and I will catch you guys on Thursday. Peace.